Now let's see what is a ripple tank. A ripple tank essentially consists of a rectangular shaped trough made of transparent glass or a perspex material. This tank contains water held at a height with a support from four legs. The front view of a ripple tank is shown. Below the tank, a white paper is spread on the floor. Above the tank, a partially covered electric bulb is fixed to illuminate the tank. A small needle N is fixed at one end of a metallic strip connected to an electric vibrator. The tip of the needle is kept vertically in contact with the water surface of the ripple tank. When the strip vibrates, the needle also vibrates and produces disturbance. This disturbance travels in the form of water circular waves. The crest of water wave behave as convex lens and the troughs as concave lens. In the case of a trough, the light diverges and forms a dark band. In the case of a crest, the light converges and forms a bright band. Now let us understand how the water reflects. This is shown or demonstrated by a ripple tank. A circular water wave produced by the vibrating tip of the needle in ripple tank travels forward. Such circular waves with origin at S proceeds. When such circular waves hits the obstacle which is placed in the center of the tank, the water waves reflects back. These reflected waves which are called ripples also are in the shape of circular waves. The center of the reflector waves will be on the other side of the wall. This point I behaves as the image of the point S. The distance of the center I of a reflected wave from the wall will be equal to the distance OS of center S of the incident wave from the wall. This proves that image distance is equal to the object distance as is in the case of reflection of light from a plane mirror. Now let's understand how refraction of water waves takes place. The first important thing to be noted is the velocity of water waves depends on the depth of water. Therefore, in a ripple tank, two regions A and B can be created by placing some glass plates in the region B. If the glass plates are piled upon one another, we have two media. The region A behaves as rarer medium and the region B is shallow water region than the region A. Thus, the two regions behave as two media for water waves. It is known that deeper the water, higher is the velocity. Since the frequency of the vibrating source remains constant, the velocity of water waves in the deeper region will be greater than the velocity of water waves in the shallow region.